Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can run the one-way analysis of variance to uh, examine the differences between different age groups and uh, Likert scale question or number of Likert scale questions. So uh, we are going to see how we can interpret and report the results as well using SPSS. To run the analysis, here we have a questionnaire that consists of uh, different age groups and we have different Likert scale or Likert scale type questions. And we need to see the differences between different age groups of teachers along with their use of L1 to, to explain vocabulary and do other activities. So what we can do uh, using this species is go to analyze and we go to compare means and then we can go to one way ANOVA because we have uh, one way, two way, etc. So compare means one way ANOVA and then I need to move the age group to the factor or the independent variable. So this is like the independent variable and then move the Likert scale type questions into the, uh, the dependent variables. So I can uh, you know move a lot of them or just one depending on the objectives of my research so i can run many of them or even all of them to see all right and then i need to go to post hoc and choose the turkey uh, test for the equal variances assumed this is tests of uh, levine's uh, homogeneity uh, so here we have uh, equal variances assumed and the games have for the equal variances not assumed just in case. For the options, I can just choose descriptives and we can choose means plots. So click continue and then I can do even planned contrasts, but this is at a later stage. But we stick to this and click OK and wait for the output. So here is the output. The, the, the first table is about descriptives. It contains the different age groups along with their mean score, as you can see. So here, the higher the mean, the more respondents agree with the statement that English language level of the learners you teach most often. Uh, for example, or the explanation of vocabulary, etc. Uh, so these are all different uh, items. But we need to see whether or not there are statistically significant differences between these items and the or different age groups with regard to these items. We can go to the if statistics table. You can see here the sig value or the p value. And if it is below 0 0.05, this means that there is statistically significant difference. If not, there is no statistically significant difference. Like our language use helps learners work together. So here there is a statistically significant difference. And then we have another statistically significant difference between age, uh, age groups with regard to our language reduces the opportunities for learners to listen to and understand English. And then we have our language reduces the opportunities for learners to speak and practice English. Again, there is statistically significant difference between these age groups. This is what we are going to be doing. We can say that the one-way analysis of variance was conducted and it showed statistically significant difference or differences between the items that got SIG value that is less than 0.05. In this case, we need just to highlight them like this item. Okay, and go to the uh, post hoc uh, tests uh, or the means plots. So the post hoc tests can show you the difference as well for the sig value. Like, uh, what is it? Again, if we have sig value that is lower than 0 0.05, this means that there is statistically significant difference. So this is this is a little bit long, just to give you an idea. Otherwise, I can run the uh, ANOVA test, not on the Likert scale type questions, but the whole scale. So in that case, I need to, to compute variable by compute variable, and then use statistical mean and keep moving the items together to like create a uh, new variable that is called views of our language. Click OK, and it will be created at the end. 
So once it's created, I will run the ANOVA on the newly created variable by going to compare means, one way ANOVA, click reset, click age again to factor, and then we can have L1 purposes and even views. And then I can just keep the same. Uh, we have Turkey and we have games how for the options we have descriptives and they have the we have the means plots we can even choose which as well depending on what we want to have in the output click continue and then click ok so you can see here the main differences uh, between the different age groups for the views and the purposes and there is no statistically significant difference between these items together in terms of purposes and views. So here we we cannot go to post hoc tests because there is no statistically significant difference. We can just go to post hoc tests just for the sake of comparison, or even we can look at the means plots to see which age group shows more agreement with purposes or less agreement, as you can see. So the higher the age group, the more respondents agree with L1 use in English classes. So this is like the general uh, interpretation just for the uh, equation. It's written like this. It was significant or not significant, for example, difference between the age groups. And you compute or you, you report the F statistics, degrees of freedom, the F statistics and the P value. This is in the EPA style. And you also can uh, look at the mean and standard deviation of the 2k test uh, etc so you can just look at the descriptive stats to see which group uh, is different from which group this is in general how you can run the ANOVA and interpret the results if you have questions or remarks do not hesitate to post them below and see you in another tutorial bye for now